Talking about Creole Food Festival 2012, which will be the second of our food festivals, and I thought it would be a good idea to get together and talk a little bit about what it was that inspired you in the first place. Gosh, the first place? Yeah. Um, Creole Food Festival, I'm thinking back, must go back about 20 years now. Um, about 20 years ago, when I had a regular job um, living over near Glasgow, and I always used to spend, as my partner, all our money on cafes and going out and tasting different foods. We were on holiday one year up the northeast coast and we drove by John's Haven, a little fishing village. Um, and there was a sign, a big sign outside the entrance of the village which said Seafood Festival. And we walked down to the harbour and it was just amazing. It was people cooking mackerel on open oil drums for barbecues. There was a little band playing in a little harbour. And it was an image that's just stuck in my mind for years and years and years. Nipping on sort of 10, 15 years later, Ed and I started to get a little bit um, uncomfortable with our regular jobs. And we, we moved up to Creole five years ago. And when I saw Creole Harbour, I couldn't help but remember that little festival that I saw up there. Um, we integrated into the village, got to know people, we um, ran our guest house and cafe and gathered more friends year on year and after a business meeting that we had where we were looking at trying to put together a, a forum for local businesses, uh, two or three of us just went to the pub after the event, um, had a pint and somebody said, you know, it's, it's quiet here in May and what should we do and somebody had said to me, well, let's have a wine festival and I thought about food and I remember John saving in the harbour and I mentioned this and they said well okay let's just go away you go away Graham and see what's involved this year is year two of Creole Food Festival and that in a nutshell is really where that image and vision came from and we're now moving forward to increase our visitor attendance by 20% in the last year we've come from nothing to an almost guaranteed visitor level of two and a half to three thousand visitors this year. It's a bouncy festival, there's lots of ideas, there's so many people involved, producers locally, we're unearthing little gems every week and there's just so many success stories out there. But it all goes back to that little day that I called into John Saving Harbour and that's now Creole.